Out. One more time, breathe in. And out. Let's hold it long, hold it longer this time. Ready? In. Out. Go and die, right? Go into this push for the fields. At no time, you will be pushing, hitting, fighting, rowing, and so forth. If I hear you, I will tear you apart. Understand me? Yes, sir. Today, we are excited to host this one day hike in Nassau so that the kids could feel that that military experience of what uh, is going to be happen, happening in the near future. My main goal for these kids to flourish, that's the number one thing, flourish in terms of sports, academic, attitude, personality, and so forth. Uh, and this club has been started three years, almost four years, February can make four years. We have started and what we did, the same kids from our, who went to junior school because we do grade four, five and six only in primary school. So persons who want, to, want their kids to be a part, your child after being grade four, five and six. Once they go in grade seven, we welcome them back to do their leadership uh, course so that they can be leaders in our society. The thing about it, um, we have kids now who in grade nine coming back, helping, doing a, a, a math, language, choirs, band, field craft, and all of these different stuff to assist us in this program. I had one of the groups with 25 students from five different schools. They bas we, ba we basically mix them up so they could uh, uh, get to know each other from each different schools. So if they meet somewhere to the mall or any other way, they'll be like, yeah, I remember you from the Flourish Again New Club. Along the hike, we sing some cadence, uh, recite their motto, which is just do it, uh, life code, some cadence, uh, some exercise, we went through some puddles, uh, we view some of the nature, that around us, trees, grass, some one or two snakes, bugs. Uh, basically, the Flourish Again new program so yeah, to build the students here from young to old. Uh, we try to motivate them and build them up, show them the way, uh, lead them in the right path so they, wouldn't, uh, so they wouldn't be discouraged in life as they watch their friends do negative things, they do positive things such as uh, help others be a leader. As first of all, we, we always want them to be a leader, not to follow. But if you do follow, follow in the right path. Stephen Murphy. Flourish Again group, just finished their hike from Tonic William Darling Highway on Glaston Road now. It's like, it's been quite an experience for them. I think all of them will appreciate going on the next one. I know they, they like it when they go to Andrus and continue this, because this right here, this, was, this is this could be a joke compared to Andrus. So, I feel as if this could be a good experience for them. It was a good experience for me also. I like to mentor the little children. It's good, it's good when an adult is able to connect with little children to give them better insight on life, considering I already been through it myself.
Good afternoon, my name is Hercules Monka. I'm instructor here at Flourish again. My job is to keep the safety. I'm a guard. I'm also a couple months away from being a Marine. Uh, what I like about today is that we show a lot of group effort, a lot of teamwork. Uh, I never knew that children would pull through like that. I'm very proud of them. And to see uh, that they have come so far and they're ready to do it again, I think that we have accomplished a lot. And that if we keep them on this right track, they could be the next leaders of this great community, this great country. On the way coming to the park, uh, I saw a little girl, she was, she was not scared. She, wanted to, she saw a snake, she wanted to take that snake by force. I've never saw that in a child. I saw them run through the water before I reached through the water. Didn't know that they were supposed to carry on like that, but that's the energy inside our young youths today. And I pray that we see it again further on in the future, doing some great things. My name is Alvin Bain and I'm an instructor for Flourish again. Um, well, today we just had uh, their first one-day hike and I think it was a very uh, good experience for them. Well, you know, some of them never really hiked in their life before, so, you know, I think it was a very good experience. And I just like working with kids, you know. You know, some of them come from very deep backgrounds from their families and stuff, so we got to just bring them up show them like the word of God, you know. It was a, a long hike for some of the kids, some of them very hard. I actually saw some of them break down and cry, which is kind of hurtful for me, especially young kids. You know, their foot hurts. Some of them didn't eat, you know. But I was right there to guide them through the whole thing. The hike today was so good. My instructors today, they kept us energetic and hardworking. Thank God there wasn't no injuries or nothing bad happened to other people. Today was a good walk. It helped us to be strong and our instructors teach us how to be disciplined and, and, and to achieve a tree point during our school year. Motivation dead! Motivation dead! Motivation dead! Ah! 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 Slap the time for motivation! Slap the time for motivation! I can't hear you! A little bit louder now. Why? That's much better. See. All together now. Flourish and youth love. I love the air that sounds your left, sounds your right. Sounds so good, let me hear it twice. Sounds so good, let me hear it twice. Who? One way should death. Who One way should death. Who One way should death. Who Good afternoon. What is your name? You say it loud and clear. Slang, That's what I'm talking about. Your name? I say William. What school you go to? Clarence Primary Sock. That's what I'm talking about. You need to speak up. Be brave. Brilliant. Sharp. Understood. Sir. You will always be disciplined. Understand? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What is your name? Michael Sock. Say it louder. Michael Sock. That's what I'm talking about. What school you attend? Garvetime Sock. Good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You're smiling. You see clown around here, huh? <laughs> you see clown on my face, right? Why are you laughing? You like joke? Something tickling you? You have a hand somewhere? Good. What is your name? 
face and it was soft. And you're shaking your head to me. But I, I keep it in my head and I understand what you're saying to me. You know. But you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna be mush! Because I tell you what's gonna happen. You don't shake it. Understood? What is your name? Face and it was soft. And you start and come to attention. Heels together. On to the side. On to the side of your body. What school you attend? Look soft. like you wanna cry. What your name is? Why look, why look like you go over the grind? Because I ask you your name, you don't want to tell me your name. You are part of my club. You're supposed to be sharp. You're supposed to have a lot of courage in you. You're not supposed to be afraid. I look like those. I'm talking a little too loud for you. Eh? That's what it is. I ask you a question. I'm speaking a little loud to you. What do you want me to do? Hey, how, how are you doing? What is your name? <laughs> That's what you want me to come to you? People out there is like coming to you like that. They are all different kinds of personality out there. They are coming to you like sharks. They are coming to you like lions. And they are going to chew you up if you allow them to. Understood? Understood? Good. Good afternoon. What is your name? You enjoy this hike? Yes, sir. What do you like about this hike? Because you're lying to me. Huh? You like the hike? What do you like the hike about? What, 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 what's so good about the hike? Walking, sir. Walking, sir? Yes, sir. You see the nature? Yes, sir. You see birds? Yes, sir. You see trees? Yes, sir. You see any animals? Yes, sir. None? Yes, sir. You don't see no animals? You don't see no snakes in the bush? Yes, sir. And all them snakes walk with you? Huh? Yes, sir. There ain't no snakes? What they are? Sheep? They ain't no sheep, you know? So who they are? They humans, eh? Who's walking with you today? What happened? Questions is too hard for you. Who was walking along with you? I don't know their names. You don't know their names? Yes, sir. So if someone come to you and ask you, who was walking along with you? What would you tell them? What? What would you tell them? Their names. No. You tell them there was a group of persons from different schools was walking along with you. And they are humans. They look like dogs or animals. Yes, they walk on his legs. Two. And they have brain? Yes, sir. Good. What school do you attend? Yes, well, you sir. get it right. Because I know Miss Brennan there. And Miss Miller, right? They don't want to hear that nonsense. You don't know who he's walking with. Got that? Understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Hey, how you doing? All is well? Put your hand to the side. That's what I'm talking about. Come to attention. What is your name? What is your name? Good. And what grade are you in now? Four. What cost you to come to Rangers? What cost you to, uh, sorry, what cost you to join Flourish again? Because it's fun, flourish again is fun, right? It's not that military like that, hey. But why, why you see people are crying when I'm speaking to them loud? If I speak to you loud, you'll cry? Because why? You have courage, right? That's what I'm talking about! Little Minnie Me says she got courage. And they let her start crying. What, what are school you attend? C.W. Sawyer. C.W. Sawyer. Good. And who's your teacher though? And I want you to achieve three point grade average or above. Got that? You will do that for me? Good job. You do that? I'll give you a nice award. Like that? Good. You have a problem! You're looking at me like you want to fight me. I see it. I see it. We're going to break you down and we're going to mold you. We're going to make you become. A successful youngster. You will not go out there and do your own thing. Understand me? Yes, sir. You will do what? Positive. Productive. Things. To make what? Your life what? Great. Great. What is it going to be when you come to school? <laughs> pastor or Belize, you are a pastor. So you're, you, you, you're praying for me? I'm praying for your uh, fellow mate? 
Huh? Why? You, you don't like some of them? You're a pastor, you don't like some people? You hate them? What? They just mean to you. What you supposed to do? What the Bible says, when they mean to you, what you supposed to do? Do good to them, eh? If they uh, use you, you gotta do good to them. You gotta still love them. Right, Pastor? You gotta read the Bible. When last you read the Bible? You gotta read the Bible. John 3 16 say what? What about Philippians 4 verse 13? What does it say? You're a pastor. I see that. You're a pastor. You're truly a pastor. What is the pledge? You don't know my pledge? You don't know your pledge? You don't know the killer pledge? What is the pledge? The God of, I will do my best to serve God, my club, my fellow mates, to live by the club code, to make a golden rule my daily rule. I am determined to make a difference in the life of the army. Model, just do it. Good. Excellent. And those words you use, you gotta continue to use them in your life. You will serve God and serve your what? Fellow mate, right? And again, you will live by the club code. What is the club code? That's the club code. What the club code is? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Wake up, right? Let me hear you say it like you really mean it. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's wake what I'm talking about. And people need to wake up because you are about to do what? Change. Right? Excellent. Uriah Markfi School. Yes, sir. Uriah Markfi. Yes, sir. Good. What is the code? Life code? People need people. That's Uriah Markfi or that's Flores code? Good. Now you give me Uriah Markfi code. People need people. Yes, I want you to give me Flores code. Flourish again, code. Cool. That's you. That's the code? You read anyone's shape and read and see what is in the back of the t-shirt? Come here. Come here. Stand around. Read this. What does that say? Huh? That's the life code. You will always be guided by that. You will always check yourself before you wreck yourself. You understand it? Yes, sir. You won't be like them car with mashing up and going and yeah, get an accident and stuff like that? Yes, sir. You know what happened when they then right off? What is it with them? When the car right off, with the, what, what has happened? Yes, you won't go to the junkyard? Yes, no. So you always got to check yourself. You understand that? Yes, Good job.